Guys, Previously, on, idea, on episode 16. First. They're literally the exact same year. You know, Lucky must be tired from run. But we're actually not getting that much in. I guess the header is a lot smaller on the Gleaner, too. It's got 65 horse, guys. It's doable. You just most likely wouldn't use it a ton. Guys, it is shop day. There is rain in the forecast. We are going to get fixing up the combines. There's a couple cleans I got to repair on them. The 7800s here. Oh my gosh, we got a lot. We got a lot. And there's rain in the forecast. I need to get these beans in. We are in a rush to get these beans in over here. Wait, are the okay, okay. First, first things first, more in chores. We gotta get more in chores done. By the way, if you're not subscribed, if you subscribe, you're entered for a chance to win an Xbox One. All you gotta do is subscribe. And then that is gonna be announced in a couple weeks, boys. A couple weeks. Okay, so we're going over here. If you enjoyed these vids, let me know by that like button. Hey, let's get to 1K likes. It's always cool what's in 1K. 1K squad. Are you gonna be a part of the 1K squad? Okay, so what we're doing right here is I'm just gonna clean up just some of this here. Oh, by the way. I didn't tell you guys this may be posted at 8 a.m. I'm gonna start posting all these videos all the farm vids at 8 a.m. because that's what farmers do farmers get up early and so I'm gonna separate them from the regular because I usually post every, on the main channel I usually post at 5 p.m. and on this channel I've been posting at 5 p.m. but I'm gonna post this at 8 in the morning starting now I think that'll be kind of cool that way you guys can get up get your breakfast in wash some squad baby okay so what we're gonna do is I'm, I gotta dump the, you guys have seen this, hopefully you guys have seen this, I'm gonna dump the corn back in here, clean it up there, but I can't feed it back to the pigs, for some reason, these piggies don't want to take it back in, usually you can drop corn right there, and it'll go straight to the pigs, but, I don't know, I, I, on this map I just can't drop it there, so we're gonna head over here, and open this up and dump it here, by the way, on, on the main channel squad, I got some new comment, it's gonna be a beer brewery we're making, and actually edits made it for me. Just if, if you guys want to go watch that vid, I don't know when it'll be up. But you guys are probably the first to know about it. It's probably not even up yet, but I'm gonna. That's gonna be coming out soon, I think, today. But okay, we're gonna dump that there quick, and then I'm gonna clean. We gotta get those beans back. Now the T4 over here. Oh wait, no, no, no. I did. I'm saying the wrong name. Little Blue. We called her Little Blue. We all decided on Little Blue. Little Blue is all cleaned up. And she's ready to haul those gravity wagons. Those gravity wagons are compl almost completely full. Now, I'm curious if Lil Blue is going to be able to haul her. Okay, should I back? Okay, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just park the tractor right here quick. I want to park it under the shed, though. Okay. I just noticed we have our sound, like, extremely high. Oh, they need some corn. They need some corn. I got to get the pig some corn, actually, is what we got to do. Okay. I'm going to head over here. Now, oh, oh, okay. I guess I didn't really comment too much on this. We got the 7810. It's the front wheel assist, the the top comment, the first like top three comments on the video were get front wheel assist, so, so we got front wheel assist. Now I'm gonna be honest, I like both of them. Two wheel drive though, um, like my uncle has a two wheel drive and it looks it looks sweet and so, stuff. So I was kinda, I was not gonna lie, I was kinda voting for two wheel drive, but hey, you guys just drove, chose front wheel assist, so hey, we got front wheel assist. Okay, now actually, I'm not even sure if John Deere makes a 7810 with two-wheel drive i only think they make a 7800 with two-wheel drive i don't know why i'm thinking that but i did a google search on 7810 with uh for two-wheel drive or just 7010 in general and i didn't see any two-wheel drive i was like you know what that makes sense i don't think they even make one but let me know if i'm wrong i could be wrong okay let's go and get in the t4 we got all the combines here we're gonna put away we're gonna repair both of them they're they just need a little cleaned up oil change mid-season oil change maybe right 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 okay so we're gonna get in a little blue Fire up. Okay, it has 26,000 liters behind it. Will Little Blue be able to pull this thing? Man, I don't know. Okay, is it even slipping? It's slipping a little. Those rear wheels are slipping a little. But, dude, look at this thing. Little Blue's a beast. Dude, oh my gosh. Holy crap. I mean, technically, if you think about it, my four-wheeler could pull these. It, it, like, really, if you think about it. As long as, you know, you put it in low and you just start crawling. You know, I guess when you think about it, like... Special TV, he could, you could tie a rope to him and he could pull these things even maybe. No, probably not, but still. Any small utility tractor should be able to pull these. Okay, just not like, it, it's not like, it'll take forever to get up to speed, obviously, of course. So, we're going to dump these beans in, I, okay, I, I don't, I've been switching up the bins, so it doesn't really matter anymore what, what, what bin I dump it in. But I got to actually get a tractor out, so, because the teeth, because the, because little blue goes on the auger. We're going to have to get out and unattach this, and I'm going to have to hook a tractor up to pull these around, to switch these around. I'm going to have to put little blue on the auger quick, is what we're going to do. So yeah, we're not in the field at all. It's about to rain here. Let me pull up the weather forecast for you guys. Rain, 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 snow, snow, snow. Um, I'm going to try to jump in between there and get harvesting, and I'm probably going to live stream it soon too. But 
I gotta I gotta figure that out. Also, Saturday morning farming is probably gonna be a different map. I'm not sure what map. I'm not sure how we're gonna do it, but I think it's gonna be a different map. Okay. Hopefully that's still over there. It should be. Everything should be good to go. I don't know why I have those lights on. Hey, why not use the 7810 we just got to pull these things quick? I could use the comments, but we'll use the 7810 to just pull these things around. We'll see how the 7810 compares to Little Blue. Little Blue, maybe we'll out pull the 7810. Who knows? So I'm going to just unload these beans right here. We're going to hook up. Oh, 7810 sounds sweet, dude. Okay, sweet. It's basically the same thing as the 8400 we had, guys. Like, it looks somewhat the same. The front end does look a little different. The tires are a little narrow, more narrow on the 7010, I've noticed. But other than that, it, it kind of looks like the, the 8400 we had. Okay, we're going to back around here. Now, hopefully, this manu the manual attach mod works good on this. Hopefully, it does. Okay, we're going to keep backing up. What's, what's that little lever right there that I'm seeing sticking out, guys? You see that little, like, lever that kind of sticks out? What is that? You can kind of see it on right there when I'm looking at the ground. I wonder what that is. Okay. We're going to get out and we're going to attach this quick. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we got to swing all the way around the shed because the unloading points on the left. Oh, dude, I got my planner. I, oh, I got to put that away too. Oh, you know what? We got the magnum with the disc. Hey, maybe we could get disc in. Ah, we'll probably save that for later. We'll probably save that disc in for later. Dude, we have so much tillage to do. It's not even funny. I think I'm going to have to get another disc or something and throw the 7810 on another disc so we can get tillage done quick. Okay, I'm going to pull around here. Like, I always like to get st stuff done real quick, guys. I, I try to. I feel like it's the best thing for all of us and we can get the most entertainment instead of watching me disc for like five videos straight. Okay, that's kind of why I do it and get so many like... Okay, there we go. Sweet. Okay, we're unloading, but... Is... Okay, okay. I got to jump in here. It's working. I think it's working. Sweet. It's working. There we go. 7010 sounds sweet. It is loud, but that's how it is, I guess. There we go, dude. You can hear it going. You can hear it going. Okay, now I'm going to have to start selling some of this. Oh, wait. Okay, so we have $83,000 right now, but, 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 we technically don't because I'm cheating right now. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. And we have a loan of $100,000. That means if we pay off our loan completely, we'll be negative $16,000. Now, I'm going to pay off some of the loan quick. We're going to repay some of it to where we have like $18,000. That's good enough. We still have a loan on us though, which we got to make back. Watch. I'm going to be trucking for a farmer soon. So we should be, and, and he's paying me five grand. So I'm going to get the semi out and truck cows for the farmer soon. That'll be coming in another video. So we should be able to make some, just a little money back, you know? Okay. We're going to keep pulling forward and we, we're starting to get a lot of grain. We're going to start selling a lot of corn is what we're going to do. Um, can I keep going right there? Sweet. There we go. She's unloaded. Dude, that's so realistic. I love it. Look at it. Obviously, besides the kind of dropping through the ground, but dude, I love this. There we go. Okay, sweet. She's unloaded in there. And then I'm going to put these gravity wagons away. We're going to like shed everything basically is what we're going to do. Um, okay, it's good. I could leave them outside, but why not? I have the shed space. So I'm going to have to take 7010. We're going to have to throw a quick Yui. Is that illegal on my phone? Heck yeah, brother. Or legal. Legal, not illegal. u turns are illegal though. The tunes are illegal. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through here, take a left, and then we're gonna pull right through here. I'm just gonna put the gravity wagons just right in here, quick. Now I'm gonna leave them connected because man, it is gets tough connecting these things. We're just gonna leave them completely connected. I have so much room in here. Okay, we'll just drop them right here. I'll get out quick. Dropper. There we go. Sweet. Dude, I like this. I'm. So, dude, I like this track. I like it a lot. Okay. What we're going to do is, man, okay, I'm going to park, like, all the equipment outside for now is what I'm going to do. Because I got to get these combines in here, and we got to start working on these guys. We got to start working. You've never seen Squad try to fix something, but Squad's going to try to fix something today. Okay, 7810, we'll just park right there. We'll just, dude, we'll line up all of our equipment right there. Let's get the straight truck out. That way I can get these combines in here, too. We get fixing these things. Okay, straight truck. She's a little muddy, it looks like. Is there a little mud on her? Yeah, just a little bit, and just a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is pull forward, back up, just park right next to the 7010 quick. Now, it's going to be kind of tough to get through here, I think, this lane. But should be good. Right there, what'd you say? Oh, dude, we're literally driving through the trees back there. But whatever, that's good. Okay, we need... T oh, little blue, little blue, little blue. Or actually... So what am I going to do with this? Could I leave it out? 
I might as well just leave it out. Why not? Because we're gonna just be putting green in here. There's no point to even fold this up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little blue off here, and we're gonna put this planner away quick. So actually, I gotta detach it quick. Oh, I can't detach. Uh, for some reason, I can't manually detach it. We're gonna drop that right there, and we get a little blue, dude. You can turn so tight on this thing. I love it. And we're gonna keep that. We're gonna keep that auger out too. And I'm gonna hook up to this little planner. Dude, the planner looks like it's perfect for little blue. I don't know. Dude, the planner's kind of small. Oh, of course we're getting a new planner this year, guys. Too, by the way. Okay. We're gonna attach that, and I'm gonna just move this planner and just back it into where it should have been. Quick. Back it in here. Oh, all the, also we're getting another. Uh, we're getting a different fertilizer spreader. I. That one's awesome. It works good, but we need we need to get, we need to get like a real branded one stuff. Not not just an in-game one. So. I'm gonna keep, dude. I, dude, little blue's awesome for moving equipment around. This thing is handy. Okay, we're just gonna park her right back here, quick. Uh, get out, drop her off, unattach. There we go. Sweet. Pulling through here. Okay, now I'm gonna park. Little blue is just gonna go. Oh, dude, this thing is so quick. Okay, I. We may be moving more equipment around with this. Why not, dude? This thing's so zippy. It's quick. Holy crap. Okay, we're gonna back it up through here, just right here. There we go. You guys will see like all my equipment lined up. Okay, let's shut off those lights. Hop in here, shut them off. There we go. Um, okay, now let's go over to 4760. I'll bring the combines last. Okay, but the Magnum's gonna sit outside. Casey's gonna sit outside, unfortunately, because she's about ready to go. Um, we gotta put, I might as well leave these attached is what I'll do. I'll pull the 4760 in with the grain cart and I'm just gonna leave them attached. I'll probably just pull it in the same shed we pulled uh, those gravity wagons in. I'm, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it attached. Okay, one thing is, I, I hate how slow the 4760 is. Like, 21 mile an hour is good, it's realistic, but in farm sim, man, I would, I would love to see 27, 28 mile an hour. Seems like the perfect speed. That way you can, you know, fly down the road and... I don't know, it seems to, co it seem, it seems to cover it, it seems to cover ground pretty quick. I like, I like that speed. Especially when we're in the fall and we're just transporting grain across, across fields and down the road and everything like that. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. Just turn left and pull in here. I think... Oh, maybe we don't have enough room. Oh, are we going to have enough room? I think we should. We should. Okay, yeah. We'll make her. As long as I don't... Yeah. Okay, sweet. We're good. There we go. We'll just park in here quick. Right there. 4760. I was considering... Okay. I was considering selling this thing and trading it for the 7010. Just getting rid right of the 4760. I was going to be honest. Maybe we'll still do that. Let me know if we should still sell the 4760 or if we should keep the 4760. I was like, dude, the 7010 like, is a perfect tractor to replace it. Now I kind of got two of them. So, yeah, I was considering selling the 4760, basically. So, we're going to tab back into Combine quick. There we go. 9610. Uh, I got to have... Okay, so I'm going to do the Fold Me mod. I have to have the 9610 lead the way. We're going to fire up the Gleaner. Dude, these things sound good when they fire up. Listen, it, it's quiet. It's quiet, but here we, here she comes. Dude, I love it. Okay, we're going to hit Control F. There we go. Okay, it's going to follow me back to the farm, even though the farm's like not far at all. But I actually got to drop off these headers. Oh, shoot. I can't fit through there. That's right. I can't fit through those gates. So we're going to have to cut across the potato field. Which... Should we plant potatoes here next year? Like, I, I gotta decide what I want to plant. Because I feel like should, I, I probably shouldn't plant potatoes just back to back to back, you know? But maybe. I, I, we could, I guess. Okay. Is the gleaner falling? Gleaner's falling. Sweet. Um, Hopefully we don't hit the auger that's just sitting out here. Are we going to be able to fit through here? Oh, she was a little tight there. But we got her. Okay, sweet. Now, I got to figure out where I'm going to drop off these headers quick. That's what I got to figure out. Because to be able to back these combines in, we're going to have to drop these headers down quick. I think I'm just going to drop them over here where I dropped the other the other time. That'll work good. Okay, Gleaner, stop. We'll do... We'll stop you for a sec. There we go. Oh, yeah. We're going to name the, the girl. When, when I get a worker hired out, there's usually a girl. Somebody said Cheryl. Cheryl's not a bad name. Somebody said Lisa, I think. Or no, I think I said Lisa. Cheryl. I like Cheryl. I like Cheryl. We'll name her Cheryl. Dude, we're naming everything. I can't even forget it. I, I can't even remember all the names we got. Okay. We're gonna, I need one thing a guy commented and I need to start naming fields our fields instead of like field five I need to name it name it fields because I mean that's how a lot of people do they name they name their fields okay um oh is that not gonna work okay we gotta just automatically do that okay back the 9610 in quick she's going in can we fit dude we should be able to fit both combines I'm thinking in the shed at once 
Dude, what is up with this guy's hands? What? Oh, dude. Oh, that's a little screwed up. Okay. We're good, though. Okay. 9610, I'll just throw it in here like that. Sweet. And then, dude, we can fit a lot of equipment in here, actually. And then let's get in the gleaner. Back her in. Okay, we're just going to park the gleaner just right up front right here. And then I gotta, basically, it's just organizing and repairing equipment. Oh, oh, one thing I was gonna say. One thing I was gonna say to you guys. Okay, let's drop that off quick. Here, let me show you guys. So, a lot of you guys commented on the tractor, the international that's sitting back here. Um, What I was thinking about doing, obviously, I can't, like, pull it out or anything. But I'm thinking about getting another international like that and doing a repair video. Basically, we repair this tractor. I can't get rid of it, but... We're going to basically make this get this tractor again and get it up and running for the farm. I was thinking that would be a cool video. Let me know if you guys want that. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that sometime. Just repair that tractor. Okay, so we're going back to the gleaner in here. Oh, what? oh, okay. I was wondering what that site, that that uh, logo or whatever was at first, but that's just the gleaner logo, I guess. The combine logo. Okay, sweet. She's in there. Okay, so grab the toolbox. What do we... What, oh, what? We can't... Wait, can we? I thought you should be able to repair this thing. What? Wasn't I able to last time? Okay, well, what we can do is we can... Okay, we can repair it from here. So here we go. We're just going to go in here. Repair it. 15 bucks to mate for maintenance. Not bad. Now, I think what I got to do is I got to back... I got to switch spots with these real quick. Okay. We're going to pull the John Deere forward and then replace it. Okay, well, John Deere's, John Deere's repaired, so I'm just going to put it out here for now. The 9610's repaired. I should leave these run. I, yeah, okay, I'm going to leave that run. There we go. Now I'm going to move the gleaner over closer to the toolbox, and we'll repair this baby, and then she'll be ready to go for the rest of harvest. Cause we put a lot of hours on her. 2.8, what is it? I'm, I'm curious, what does the John Deere have? If we have 2.8 on the gleaner, 2.2, 2, wow. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, I guess, because we got the gleaner first. Okay, we're going to back this bad boy in. Just put it right here, and I should probably shut her off. Repairs gonna cost me twenty-seven bucks. Not bad, not bad at all, brother. We're getting away. There we go. That was, hey, that was a good deal. Okay, so we're just gonna put. Now it's time to. Oh, what do we? Okay, I'm gonna start backing in all this equipment, and I want the combines to be in the front of the shed. So what goes in first? Straight truck. We're not really gonna use that much. We're going to be able to fit. We should be able to fit all this equipment in, I'm thinking, too. Yeah, we do. We don't even have much equipment right now. A lot of it's in the sheds. The Magnum, I feel like... Okay, we're going to leave the Magnum outside. We'll just leave it outside up by that field for now. But I'm going to back the straight truck in here quick. Just put her... Yeah, I can just put her back here. We're probably not going to use a straight truck much anymore. Actually, you know what? We will for corn. I need to get a semi uh, grain trailer for the semi is what we really need to work on getting. Okay. Little blue, put little blue. Dude, we need to put little blue just up and ready to rock and roll right in the front is what we need to do with little blue. Okay, I'm gonna park little blue just right here. This is little blue's like personal parking spot right here. We need to have like a name, like a written on the floor, little blue spot. This shed door is perfect for it. There we go. We'll put little blue. She's ready to rock and roll right up there. And then we'll throw the 7810 back here. I threw the, I threw the 30 inch jewels on it. What do you guys think of the 30 inch jewels on? I think it looks sweet compared to the 20 inch or 22s, I think. 22 inch duels okay we're gonna pull this forward and then like i said saturday's video is gonna be some type of new map i got i actually got to kind of figure out what map it's gonna be yet okay we'll throw the 7810 right here oh this will work perfect there we go sweet okay now we'll back the gleaner in and then we'll have the 9610 just follow right behind her and there's something oh we gotta move corn we gotta move corn that's what we gotta do that's what i was wanting to do i forgot i knew there was something else we had to get done okay we do we have a ton of space in here yet i wish i could get these headers in here but we can't unless i put them on a trailer if i put them on a trailer we can get these in here okay we're gonna keep backing up and we gotta get how are we gonna do this we need corn okay it's a little blue's turn it's a little blue's turn to grab some corn quick we're gonna put this right here 96 10 sweet Open little blues garage door here. And then I'm going to grab one gravity wagon. And we're going to go fill up with some corn. There we go. Little blue. And we'll pull through here. I think we have... Yeah, we, did, we can just... I forgot the name of this. 
but the little auger we can just load right under the little auger unfortunately what i'm going to do is i'm going to separate these trailers and it kind of sucks separating them because it's always really tough to back up but i feel like we got to there we go we're gonna call little blue the chore tractor okay well let's let's unhook that one sweet there we go and of course little blue can easily pull this one man sweet okay now hopefully it has corn it should it looks like is that be ah, that might be beans hopefully it's corn okay we're gonna pull under here please be beans no or no please be corn i said it was beans shoot okay well i gotta unload this scene anyways okay it's all unloaded now i need to fill this auger with corn okay do we have corn we don't have corn in there shoot it's the other one it's the other one or actually you know what you know where i do have corn guys i have corn down at the other yeah yeah that's right because we dumped a ton of corn in here yes yes okay sweet so i'm gonna go and load these beans over in here over in like the pig silos and we have some corn in there just a little bit i'm not sure how much exactly but i know we have enough to probably feed the pigs in here yeah yeah we definitely do so i'm gonna pull through here dude i love little blue this is sweet Unfor what the perfect setup would be a loader on this but it's good for now it's good it's a perfect hay trailer tractor too unload these things so we're gonna unload the beans and we're also gonna fill at the same time i should be able to fill okay we got some corn in here yeah there we go that'll be easily be enough corn sweet oh dude this thing feels so quick too <gasps> holy crap we're full already okay you can tell a little blue she was struggling a little bit there not gonna lie okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna pull over here and these these bins they're not really storage bins they're more just feeding bins we'll uh, we'll unload this is where you unload to feed the pigs basically so we're gonna hit right there unload and okay so how full let's check let's check this first okay they definitely need corn sweet so unload i'm not sure how much they're gonna need oh yeah dude they didn't even need that much at all i need to buy some more pigs we need to buy some more pigs maybe that's what we should do soon but we don't have that much money okay why is their health only at 15 percent why okay i'm gonna run the clock a little bit and we're gonna see because usually when you run the clock time passes and their health actually gets to where it should be look everything is a hundred percent the pig's health should be a hundred percent you know that's what i'm trying to unless it's manure unless i gotta like clean up this manure this these pigs health should really be at a hundred percent i don't understand it look dude i did everything right this time i feel like i did everything right this time we're, we're gonna run it to like noon and i'm gonna see great demand for seed at Miller seed and feed for wood chips man I don't have wood okay it's about to rain it's about to rain boys I don't have wood chips right now shoot we're getting rained out we're getting rained out dude we're getting rained out <gasps> oh this sucks this really sucks okay we're probably not gonna get in the field for a while now yeah dude we're not gonna get in the field for a while now okay I'm gonna stop the clock now and let's check the pig's health why is it at 15% does anybody know if anybody can help me out dude that would be awesome as to what how i get this to 100 percent. i do not understand this everything seems good i mean obviously i clean up a little bit but it, the pig should be at 100 percent. i feel like so we're gonna take the tractor back and we're gonna drop this off and then we're just gonna put the tractor back in the shed quick this seems so zippy oh the magnum in case you case ih fans wanted to see her sitting out here the magnum the 7130 i need to upgrade to like an 82 series or something like that what we need to do maybe i'll do that soon okay I, but dude it's just so fun buying new tractors and farm sim hopefully you guys understand it is a rainy day out on squad farms unfortunately but hopefully squad form farms fix the rainy day hopefully it was a fun video guys hopefully you guys somewhat enjoyed this video if you did go and hit that like button and hey i'll see you guys for the next one thanks for watching guys